Good morning. It's Ted, the Wave Genius. It is Wednesday, March 6th, 2024. I didn't do anything yesterday because I was getting massacred by NVIDIA. It dropped down. I, I bought um, MVDL at a really high price and dropped like 20 points on me. But it's coming back and I'm actually happy again because the features are up 110 in NASDAQ. Which, and NVIDIA in Frankfurt is up... 10 points almost in Frankfurt so far. Um, NASDAQ on the 10-day one-minute chart uh, is going to gap up 110 right now. So I'll target about 16,070. But I think it's going to be one of those days where the entire reversal of the previous day, which was down 267, I think tomorrow we'll be up 300 and take out a new high. So <laughs> every time we gap down like this, the next day there's a big reversal. So I wouldn't be surprised to see it takes out. Well, if it takes out 16,200 at the open, which is possible, you can probably see a, a third wave which would take out 16,300. For the Dow, <clears throat> the Dow features aren't up that much. They're up about 60. And it actually completed a zigzag, huh? So the A wave was 39,300 to 38,750. B wave and then C wave to 38,450. It's only gapping up about 60 points. But if NASDAQ has a really strong upside move tomorrow, the Dow should fall. S&P features are up. Let's see. Let me double check the S&P features. S&P futures are up 15. So, let's see. I would target 5,095. But, again, I, I'm expecting a reversal that takes out a new all-time high in the next couple of days. Because every time we gap down like that, there's a reversal that takes it out. And we held support at the previous four at 50.60, around 50.58, actually, and then reversed. And finally, the socks. The socks should take out 49.50 at the open, based on the futures. So I'm expecting a new all-time high in the next couple of days. And this could be a second wave before a 3-3, so look out. This could be a really big move. That's a wrap.